Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 229. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook 221 to 229. Hey, this video is a follow up on Excel Magic Trick 219. We created a pivot table with a macro. Now, um, you can go back and uh, watch that one to see how to create it. I just want to show you one uh, important fact about this pivot table created with a macro we did. Now, we had the keyboard shortcut um, on in this workbook, Control-Shift-Y will run our macro. So I'm going to click on this data sheet, and this macro uh, will always um, look in column A and count how many rows there are and then uh, select the data set and create a pivot table. Now this is a slightly different pivot table than the w we did in the last one, but the key to that was that we created a named formula first, so a control F3, and in our dynamic uh, table right here, we created this offset function, and that's the, the part of uh, the macro, when we create our pivot table, we use this name as the range. So that is what's picking up uh, the variable row length. Now let's just run our macro, Control shift y and there it is. It created a little pivot table. Now if we delete it, right-click delete, and you start adding extra records here, it will incorporate that. So if I Control shift y you got to, your cursor's got to be inside the table. That's how we built the macro. It creates a new one. Now, uh, in the last video, we showed how to increase the rows, and it would work. But in this one, you want to understand that it doesn't matter if you increase or you decrease. So now, if we change our data set, it will uh, still work. So Control-Shift-Y. So up or down. Further, if you use this sheet and you always dump your data here, so you could use this as a little template, your, your data sheet in this workbook right here, you could just dump your data each uh, period, right? So it'd have to have the same fields and uh, the, the same fields, same number of fields and the same names for it to work. But dumping your data here, smaller or bigger data sets will work with that macro. All right, we'll see you next trick.